Uh, here we are, Colorado, Kansas State week. And you know what? This is going to be a hard week because I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know what I'm going to predict. I have spent a ton of time looking up data. I've been doing this since the bye week started because I knew both of these teams were going to be coming off of a bye week. And so I have dove into so many different things and gotten so much information. And I don't even know how much information of that I'm going to use in this video, but I do know one thing. Colorado was coming off of beating a UCF team that everybody thought was going was good, and Colorado, that was gonna, going to be their statement win. Then UCF goes out and plays Florida, and Florida beats UCF pretty handily. So it makes you kind of call into question that Colorado win against UCF because now you have more information to go off of. Then when you look at Kansas State, you know, they, they're, they've just been very streaky. No matter how you call it, they've been streaky. Both teams are four and one. Both teams are heading into this off of a bye week. And I don't know what I'm going to say, and I don't really know who I'm going to pick. But I do know there's a couple of things that I've been researching that I'm very interested to see how the game turns out, what happens, and how different things are executed amongst the game. So I am going to get into the three things that I'm going to be looking out for, and then I will make my prediction like I always do in all of these videos. So let's just get into the video. The interesting thing about this matchup for me is I feel like Kansas State is built exactly how teams that CU used to struggle against and maybe still struggle against because if I look at North Dakota State and I look at what they did there and I look at UCF, I don't, I still don't know what to make of this and here's why. North Dakota State could move the ball very well against Colorado. They just didn't have the athletes. And then you go to UCF, and UCF was terrible, but then UCF was also terrible against Florida. So UCF might just be a bad team, and I don't want to make my decisions based off bad teams. So then that only leaves the eye test. And so for me, for the eye test, what happens, what I know about Kansas State is Kansas State has a solid team. They are solid on defense. I think they lead the Big 12 in sacks. They're solid on defense. I think... They, not I think they have uh, get it get get in, <laughs> get in. <laughs> they have a great running back and then they have we all know they have Dylan Edwards and then they have a tight end that I feel like nobody is probably talking about and nobody is thinking about and then they have a quarterback who can scramble and so what I'm saying I'm saying all of this to say when I look at how Kansas State is structured I think Kansas State is structured as a team that Colorado can struggle with because they have so many off offensive weapons and those offensive weapons is what is scary to me and I also think trenches wise I think Kansas State probably has a better offensive line and depending on who you ask and I think statistically Kansas State probably has a better defensive line this is one of those games at the beginning of the season or really in my preseason prediction I said that Colorado is going to struggle against Kansas State and I have this game as a loss but I'm going to talk myself through this I'm going to think about my three things that are going to be important in this game and then see where I come out at the end of this as I'm talking one of the things I am worried about in this game and it's going to be my number one thing is can this see you defense slow down Kansas State's offense. If CU's defense is ordered to slow down Kansas State's offense, I think we're in for a Colorado win. But here's the issue with that. In my opinion, this Kansas State offense is going to be one of the hardest offenses that Colorado has faced this year. And here's why. They have a tight end. And a lot of the teams that Colorado has played thus far hasn't had a real solid tight end that the team gets into the game. And so for Colorado's defense, they're going to have to stop the running game. They're going to have to stop a running quarterback. They're also going to have to stop a tight end. So that is three things they're going to have to do. Now you will say Colorado's coming off a of bye week. Colorado's going to be rested. All those things. All those things are true. Kansas State is also coming off of a bye week. And so this is going to be a very interesting game to see how things line up and to see what they they look like. But I do think this Kansas State offense can potentially present a problem for CU's defense because there's so many different weapons and there's so many different things that Colorado is going to have to do to make sure that they can cover all of the different weapons that Colorado that Kansas State has on offense. I know some of you will say, and Kansas State has to call has to defend Colorado's offense. You're absolutely right, but that's not what this is about. This is about me stating the three things that I'm going to be worried about. The second thing I'm going to be focused on is the battle of the trenches, not just offensive line, also defensive line. In my opinion, I think Kansas State 
has a very solid offensive line and a very solid defensive line. I don't know if Colorado's offensive line is solid. I don't think they're solid because we still don't really know who the starters are. And the defensive line is, is good. And so I don't know where to fall with that. And so I think the battle of the trenches is going to be very important. As I mentioned before, Kansas State is one of the tied leaders for sacks. And so again, if you can protect Shador, if you can keep Shador upright, I think that is going to make an impact. And I know the comeback to this is going to be, yeah, well, Baylor had eight sacks and we still won. If Baylor makes that field goal, Colorado does not win that game. So let's not focus on all the reasons why I can be wrong. Let's focus on hoping that Colorado does what they need to do and wins the battle of the trenches. Because I think the battle of the trenches is going to be very, 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 very important here. And I think in order to beat Kansas State, you have to win the battle of the trenches. When I looked at that game with BYU, the one thing BYU did a really good job of was disrupting what Kansas State had going on on offense, and that caused those turnovers. And so I'm very fascinated to see what the battle of the trenches looks like in this game. One thing I'm going to be paying attention to, because based off what I've seen from Colorado and based off the games that Kansas State either lost, they've lost one, or the games that they're playing close is how they how the turnover battle goes. So the games that Colorado has won and it's been a convincing win, they've won the turnover battle. And the games that Kansas State has lost, they or been close against Tulane, they were lose the turnover battle impacted them. And so their ability to turn the ball over Colorado's defense and Kansas State's ability to give the ball away, I think is going to also be a factor in this game. I think if Kansas State doesn't have any turnovers or if Kansas State has one turnover, I think Kansas State wins this game. But if Kansas State has two turnovers or any more than two turnovers, I really believe that is Colorado's in to be able to win this game. And mainly because if you get a turnover, you're impacting that team's ability to score points. And if you're impacting a team's ability to score points, chances are you should win games. I will say caveat to this is my Steelers because we get turnovers, but our offense can't score. So I'm just going to throw that out there because yes, I'm better, but that's okay. So I am going to be paying attention to this turnover battle because, like I said, I believe Kansas State has to have at least two turnovers for Colorado to be able to be successful in this game. That is my opinion, and those are the three things that I think will impact this game. I think it's going to be a battle of the trenches. I think it's going to be important to see how Colorado's defense steps up against Kansas State's offense, and I think it's going to be important to see who gets the turnovers, how many turnovers happen in this game, and so those are going to be the three things I'm going to be looking for. So when it comes to who's going to win this game, I honestly, I I go back and forth. Before I made this video, I, I was going to pick Kansas State because I feel like as a team, they're a better team. I feel like they have collectively just a better, they've been together longer. They know what they're doing. They've been through the battle. They've, they've lost some games. They lost games on the road already. So they already kind of know what that feels like. And then I was thinking, well, Colorado is at home. Colorado has a night game. And I haven't really seen Colorado turn the ball over as much as I've seen Kansas State turn the ball over. And so I've gone back and forth. And every time I'm like, I don't know who's going to win this game. I don't know. This is this is a pick em game for me. But I think I'm going to go with Colorado to win this game. And I actually cannot believe I'm saying that. But the reason why I'm going to pick Colorado to win this game is because after UCF, I remember that moment when I thought, I think they have this figured out. I think they have figured out a good balance to pass ratio. I think they have figured out a good way to run this offense so that it makes sense. And when I close my eyes and when I think about it, Colorado doesn't turn the ball over as much as Kansas State turns the ball over. And I really think turnovers are going to impact this game. I'm at a point now where I'm just kind of going off of my eyes and trusting my gut and honestly leaning a little bit into fandom here because I think it's definitely a fandom pick for me to pick Colorado to win this game. But when it comes down to it, if Colorado can at least limit Kansas State's opportunities, and like I said before, I've seen this Kansas State team throw the ball, it get interceptions, and I've seen them turn the ball over, and I could not act like I haven't seen them turn the ball over. And their ability 
to turn the ball over and Kansas State has cost them games. And I, as of today, I have no reason to think that Kansas State will have better ball security than they've had all year. I could be wrong here. I could be totally wrong here. And Kansas State can may not might not turn the ball over. But I really believe that this game will come down to if Kansas State turns this ball over and can Colorado defend the tight end position for Kansas State. So that is where I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to talk myself out of anything. I'm going with Colorado to win this game. I'm just going to pick Colorado. I don't even care if I'm wrong. My fandom is talking and I'm okay to let it speak for me. So hopefully Colorado wins this game. Hopefully Colorado takes care of, takes care of business. But again, pay attention to those things that I mentioned that are going to be the, the, the two things. The turnovers and the tight ends are really my strong ones, but also the battle of the trenches for this game. And can we please stop having these night games? I cannot stand these night games. But hey, I think this will be a good game. This will be much watch TV. I'm super excited to see this. And God forbid, I hope Colorado doesn't have a lot of penalties because that will drive me absolutely insane.